this is my sixth personal exhibition at Gladstone. The fourth in this space. So every three or four years since 2003, I'm exhibiting here. So I'm very happy to be here back in the gallery and also, of course, to, to challenge this space, which I know. So this work here is called Fake It, Fake It Till You Fake It. The title, I had it since the beginning. I like the title because it's to me a relation to the proverb in Silicon Valley, fake it till you make it. So I was interested in this, this idea. Here, to me, the strategy in a way, the strategy is the analog and the digital. The confrontation between the analog and the digital, the digital back to the analog or the analog into the digital. That's the strategy. Therefore, there are two-dimensional things and three-dimensional items. And also there are, in my way, digital parts who break into the analog parts. This could be, this could be done under the motto of Muhammad Ali, which I think it's a fantastic motto. He said, he said, the will must be greater than the skill. You know, my will is very big, but my skills are very poor. You can see it here. And I assume this, by the way, I assume this because it's important to me, and even now in my, in my age, to insist on the handmade, on the badly made, on the precarious made. Because I think in the future, this is the only way to resist robotism, robotic control. So therefore, I assume it here, I assert it. I assert also the material, the materiality, cardboard, tape, uh, photocopies, styrofoam, whatever. I know the problematic of this materiality, but I use it for political reasons since the beginning I started to work. I decided this material because they are non-intimidating. Everybody knows them, everybody works with them, and they have not the art to touch. That's a political decision. Therefore, I want to be truthful to it. And I want to go through until the end with this material. And I'm happy that I could hear, or happy, I mean, I try to do here a kind of affirmation of this materiality. You know, when I go into this space, this is a white cube. This is a really white cube. The height, the length and everything is a really white cube. So it means, as artist, you have to, you have to, to fight the tendency of neutralization of the white cube. And uh, it's my work as an artist to think about how can I, in this analog 300 meter square place, break in or, or tangle in with the digital. That is my, my mission. To me, it's not filling the space. To me, it's about density. I need density because I, the world, I feel it dense, complex, complicated. Everything is so uh, interconnected. And I want in my work not clarify it. I will not clean it out. I need that in my work it is reflected, this compli complication, this complexity, this inter interconnections. Therefore, it's full. And then, of course, here I work with pictures. They are, my sources are internet. My sources are what I see on the street. My sources are also, of course, what I, with my experience of collage, want to uh, combine. Combine what is not to combine. There is, that's the, um, because that's in effect what is possible with the collage. You take existing things and put them together. Here, for example, pictures of Gaza, the ruins in Gaza, pictures of ruins in Ukraine, and pictures of first and second shooters in war games like Call of Duty. That's the, that's the sources and there I've, I try to combine. How can I, as artist today, uh, give a form 
which is not a journalistic form and not even uh, not a philosophical answer, but an artistic uh, confrontation with the challenges of our world today, of the reality of the world. So therefore, this work here should be a form of it, an answer, a try, an answer, how a form can come out. I hope people will be touched by what they see and what the energy they feel inside. I hope, as I said before, they feel implicated in the problematic which is laid out here.